Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. I am the Almighty Zentaco, and today we're going to be learning how to make a daily reward system for your games. All right, so this is going to require a few objects. So go ahead and right click and select insert object. We're going to need an active object. This is going to be our chest. So I'm going to go ahead and name it chest. Then we're going to need We're going to need the date and time object. Let me see, where is that? Date and time. Go ahead and just set that off the frame somewhere. Click to create a date object. And we don't want to see that, just throw it over there. Okay. <clears throat> um, so it's really simple. What we're going to do is uh, grab the date values and we're going to plug them into some variables. Then we are going to check versus an array and see if these values have progressed. If they have progressed, we know that we have a new reward available. So you can do this either for day, hour, minute, month, year, whatever. Uh, I'm going to set it up to be a daily reward. So that is how I'm going to do mine. All right, so first things first, I'm going to go ahead and plug in some art. So I will uh, fast forward to when I'm finished. Okie doke, so we're done here. Um, I have a backdrop and I have some art for my chest. Now, if we double click on this, we see we're gonna need two frames. We're gonna need a stopped frame and a walking frame, uh, one for open and closed, and we are going to loop both of these, okay? We want this animation to stay once it's activated. I'm also going to need a va value on this, or rather a flag, um, to determine whether or not we can open it. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on the chest, select a new flag, and I'm gonna call it reward. When this is on, that means we can then double click on this and open it. We'll go ahead and do that now. So uh, I'm gonna check reward so it is active at start. Let me throw in a new comment. We'll say open chest for reward. So if the flag is on and that's reward and if we double click on it so user clicks on an object and we're gonna say double click on this then we are going to change the animation to walking now this is the point at which you would want to give the reward okay um, <clears throat> So actually we'll do it this way because you don't want to obviously be able to get the rewards uh, forever. You only want that to happen once. So this will allow you to activate it as many times as you want to as long as reward is on. So we only want this to activate once. So let's add one more stipulation. We're gonna find out if the animation of stopped is playing. So user double clicks on the chest, stop is playing and the reward is on. Then we're gonna change the animation sequence to walking and then you would give the reward however your game works. You know, add a value to, uh, add some numbers to an alternate value, create an object, I don't know. However, your, whatever your reward is, this is where you would do it, right here. Okay, let's test it and see. I can double click and it opens up. That is because the flag is on, okay? So we don't want that to be on by default. We're gonna turn that on only if the date has progressed. So let's do that this way. We will say give reward if date has progressed. Now we're gonna need another object to be able to find out if this is the case. So let's go ahead and insert another object. And that is going to be the array object. So we're gonna save three values into this array. We're gonna save the month, the day, and the year, okay? We're gonna make this a number array. I don't want base one. Um, actually, we'll just do base one, base one's fine. All right, so the X dimension is gonna be three because we have three values. The Y dimension is one, and the Z dimension is one. That is the smallest array we need for this, so that is perfect. We're saving space by setting it up this way. Let's go ahead and Oh wait, sorry. <clears throat> We're gonna need some values. So now we have to do two things. We need to store, um, we need to grab the current date and time, or rather not, sorry. We need to grab the current date from this object and we need to plug it into a value. And then we also need to grab the saved date from the array, which we're going to save, uh, and then compare the two. And if the time has progressed, then we're gonna activate that reward. So you can actually save these values anywhere. I'm gonna go ahead and make them global values just because, why not? We're gonna need six of them. 
So we're going to need the current day, current month, current year. I misspelled that. I said der month. Cur month. Okay, and then we're just going to need, um, we'll just call it saved underscore day, saved month, saved year. So we're going to do this all on start of frame. So start a frame, we are going to, first things first, we're going to load an array from file. So click on use expression at the bottom right. Let me resize this. Click on use expression down here in the bottom right. And for our purposes here, we are going to save the array using the a path command. So a path, a p p a t h dollar sign. What that does is that is the current path of your application. And then we're going to have plus and we're going to have save here. So what that's going to do is we're going to load the array uh, from a, a file called save, which is going to be located in our app path. So that's that has loaded the array. We're going to go ahead and make a whole bunch of starter frame events just so it's easier to see what's going on. <clears throat> so start a frame. Now we need to load the saved values into save day, month and year. Okay, so let's do that this way. We will say start a frame. We're going to change a global value. We're going to set save day, and we're gonna grab that from the array, and we're gonna read that, read a value from an X, Y, Z position. Okay, so we're gonna save it day, month, year. So, um, and since this is a base one, one is going to be the, the uh, initial position of the array. So the first position of the array is going to be holding our a uh, day. So that's gonna be one, and then one, and then one. Okay, so we have now set save day to the initial value of the array. We can go ahead and copy and paste this two times, and we're just gonna simply edit this. So edit, and now we want to set the value of saved month, and we're gonna get saved month from the second X position, and then edit the last one, and we're going to get saved year, from the third X position. Uh, the Y position is going to remain constant throughout all this, and so is the Z. We're only saving on the X. So now we have loaded up those values. Let's do another start a frame event. And what we're gonna do here is we're going to set the global value of current day, month, and year. And we're gonna grab that from the date and time object. So just go ahead, this is day. So retrieve uh, day of the month, not day of the week. We wanna have you know, you could do day of the week if you want weekly rewards, but we're gonna do day of the month. So we're going to go ahead and pull that value from day of the month. And again, copy and paste this two times. That's the fastest way to do that. Click edit. We wanna set the current month. Go ahead and select that. Go back to date and time and select retrieve month. And then lastly, we're gonna set the current year and we're gonna replace this with the value of the current year. Okay, let's make sure we got this all right. Day, month, year, day, month, year, one, two, and three, perfect. Okay, so now the values have all been loaded. We're gonna do one more start a frame event. And what we're going to do is, we're gonna to write to the array um, the updated date. Now that we've loaded it, it could be a new day, so we might need to, uh, we're gonna to need to update the value of the save day, month, and year. So we're gonna do that to write value to X, Y, Z. First value is going to be, so we're gonna retrieve a global value and we're gonna get the value of current day, okay? Current day has already been updated to pull from the, the calendar object, so this is the current day according to your computer clock. So current day. So the value of current day is gonna be written into the one X index, one Y index, one Z index. Go ahead and copy and paste this two times. Okay, now we can just go ahead and save. We can uh, use this through text. You don't have to actually go through the dropdown to get the name of a global value. You can just write it in. So it was uh, current day, current month. We're gonna save that to the second position on the X, one Y, one Z. And finally, current year. And that's three, one, one. All right, everything has been updated. 
All right, so now that we've updated the value, we've written them into the array, but the array still needs to be saved. So go ahead and do that last. Click on the array, and we're just gonna go to File, Save Array to File. Click again on Use Expression, and that's gonna be App Path Plus, and put this in quotations, and the name of it was whatever your file was gonna be, but we're gonna use the word save. Um, though you see this here, how it put this out of position, this happens sometimes. Go ahead and bring that to the bottom because the last thing we're gonna to wanna to do is to save the array to the file. All right, so now that that's happened, we want to find out if uh, the date has progressed, and if the date has progressed, we're going to flip on the reward value. So we'll do that this way. We only need to do this at start of frame because we don't want a lot of this to happen more than once. Though you could do this always, you could set this up differently, but I only want to check once per, you know, every time you run the application. So start of frame, then we're gonna find out if, we're gonna compare a global value. We're gonna compare um, current day, which we have pulled, from the calendar object. We're gonna find out if that is greater than the value, again, this is a global value, of the saved day. So that means, obviously, is the day one further than whenever we have uh, saved it last time. And if that's true, then we're going to go ahead and simply flip on that flag, which is under uh, our chest, and we're gonna set on flag reward. Though you see this is red, start a frame. Start a frame always needs to be first. Make sure you do that till it turns green. Red, bad, green, good. Okay. Now, there is a problem, you might say. What happens if the month changes and suddenly, while it is the next day, uh, the save day or the current day is actually going to be lower than the save day. You won't get a reward. And that's why we're going to go ahead and also check if the month has advanced or if the year has advanced. That way, we can still get that reward every day and then it'll update the values and everything will work. As we, as we wanted to next time. So go ahead and just copy this whole thing. And uh, we need three of them, one for day, one for month, one for year. And simply we're gonna edit this second part here, the current day is greater than save day. From the drop down, we wanna find that the current month is greater than saved month. We can just type it. And lastly, we wanna find out if the current year is greater than saved year. Okay, I think that's all you need to do get this to work. Let's go ahead and run it. So we should be able to double click on this now and it opens. Now let's close it and run it again. I'm double clicking and nothing is happening. So let's go ahead and test what happens if I progress the day. We'll click on my clock and we will adjust date time. Um, let me close that there. All right, so I don't wanna set it automatically and I'm gonna change the date. So we'll make it the 20th. The day is now the 20th. So we'll close it, because it only checks whenever we restart. We're gonna run the frame, and it's a new day, so what happens? Boom, we can open it. Let's start over, and the new day is saved, so it doesn't work. So that's pretty much it. It's um, it's not really all that complicated. That is how you uh, have a daily reward. And as well, you could also do, a, you know, obviously an hourly reward, a minute reward, whatever. You can tier these things all you want. But if you follow this basic procedure, you should be able to have a daily reward system or a yearly reward system, whatever. It's really fun. You could also find out, like, at particular times and days, you could have special events happen using this calendar uh, object. You could, like, you know, at midnight on, on Friday the 13th, you could have something scary happen. I don't know, whatever. Use your imagination, guys. All right, as always, guys, I want to thank you for watching this video. I hope you found it educational. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. Go ahead and give me a thumbs up and a like if you did enjoy this. Um, and a subscribe if you're not. I try to have a new video every week if I can. Um, and if you need some help, throw some questions or comments down below. And also, my Discord channel is in the description. That's a great place for budding game designers to get some help. All right, guys, until next time, have a fantastic day.